Bonsecour St. Francis Foundation is getting ready for the annual Pearls and Pumps event coming up in October. Now this event includes shopping amongst 50 local vendors, dinner program, fashion show featuring breast cancer survivors. And this morning we have Miss Carrie Westmoreland and my mother on here. <laughs> Hello daughter. Hello B. <laughs> I tell people normally I'm getting texts from you saying don't say that or this is the proper way to say I can that. Tell you so now person you can tell now. me in person okay. today. <laughs> <laughs> this will be great. Well before we get to why you're really here, Carrie tell us about this because some people are probably like I mean, it's coming up next month and these tickets yes. go fast. They do go fast. This is an event we created six years ago to raise money for the Pearly Harris Breast Center. We wanted to have a fun night for ladies to come out and shop and have a great dinner, be inspired by someone who could tell their story and, and cheer on some breast cancer survivors who walk in our fashion show. Well, this is really, I mean, it, it's a, I say fun event. There's, you know, some sad underline, you know what I mean? Because yes. especially when some of the survivors walk up and they're holding signs and there's something was it last year there was like one that was like five weeks yes. or so, you know what yes. I mean it was like yes. it was like oh my gosh this girl just found out about this right right and that's always unfortunately the case every year with our our models there's someone who's currently going through treatment and may not have any hair but that just makes the ladies in the room stand to their feet and mm -hmm. cheer them on even more it just gives me cold chills thinking, thinking about, about it that room at that time and then you have someone that comes like a 40 year survivor yes. like whoa yes yes so it, it's a lot of fun so before the actual event starts the doors are going to open and it's going to be at greenville convention center greenville convention center we will open the doors on at four o'clock this is on october 15th mm -hmm. shopping will be from four until 6 30. again that's those 50 local vendors ladies can shop um, and then we'll open the doors for dinner at 6 30. at 6 30 so we're gonna have a little dinner we're gonna have the fashion show and then it's your big moment <laughs> yes. are, you, are you ready i will be you will be Once i have to figure no out what to wear you will we'll go shopping and we'll have that don't That's worry we'll take, we'll we'll take care of that <laughs> yes but tell us about what what do you because what what is your deal what are you doing why, why am i why are you there? doing what you're I doing i know because this is this is my favorite event of the year yes. i was fortunate enough to model for a couple of years and i thought this is really cool uh -huh. so now i get to tell my story which is you were very much a part of that story uh -huh. so it was the summer of 2013 mm -hmm. six years ago uh, Megan and her family had just sold their house and their new one wasn't built yet. So they lived with us for about six months, which, mm -hmm. was, which was great, by the way. Yep, fun times. <laughs> yeah. It was good. And she was expecting my second grandchild, uh -huh. Griffin. Oh, Griffin. Uh, I'd gone in for my annual physical. Fine. The doctor was saying, yeah, you're healthy as a horse. Everything looks great. Probably should just go ahead and get your annual mammogram just to be on the safe side. So I did that. And, and I've done that before, and every about a week later, I'd get a letter from the Pearly Hair Center at St. Francis saying everything is fine. And then this time, I got a phone call, and I'm just like, and "Why are they calling? Why are they calling? Why are they, me? Calling? You know, they run out of stamps. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you know, why, right. why are they calling me?" And they said, "Well, we just want to look again. Something wasn't quite normal." So I went back in for, and this was the same time that you were just celebrating your new role here mm -hmm. yep. on your Carolina. Uh -huh. and, so we were celebrating this we were getting ready for griffin to be born it was your new home i mean it everything. was not the best timing on your part <laughs> that's this. what i was this thought. Is, yeah. <laughs> this is what I thought. and when i went in and they said okay this is this isn't right and i think i sat there like and just and they're like <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're like now, I was now what thinking okay does this mean that you're more likely to have something if I do, and then wait a minute. See, look at a mom always thinking <laughs> right. about I was someone else. About, I mean, I was. I was like thinking, yeah. oh, what's that do to you? And there's no way I wanted to take away the joy of Griffin coming in. Right. And so we, you know, we kind of went on through the procedures and the, you know, the surgeries. And I think this is something to think about because this was a routine mammogram. Everything was caught early, and right. thankfully it was taken care of after three surgeries, right. procedures and so yeah. But, you know, thinking about it, I'd ask my oncologist before, I said, now, it's early, is it really anything? What happens if I don't do anything? And she said, looked <laughs> shocked, like, you were crazy. Like, crazy. She said, well, in a couple of years, things will probably spread maybe to your liver and to your bones or to your brain, and then within five years, you'll probably be dying. Jeez. And that was the eye opener. The wake up. The wake up call to think, man. And now I'm looking back and thinking, okay, five years, what all has happened? I mean, Griffin was born uh -huh. right at the same time. Yep. <laughs> you moved 
fucking Sarah's kids, we had our brother's <laughs> kids. Now I so have five good. grandchildren yes. where I started with one that I would have missed out on all of that. Mm -hmm. Plus just, you know, the fun of seeing you and right. wreck my yeah. son grow in your careers and your families. And, and uh, this is why, like, you know, because you were fortunate enough to, to, to be able to go to the doctor and do this. This is why we yes. raise money, too, to help Pearly right. Harris because they do a lot of outreach. Yes, yes. This year's money will go towards the outreach efforts mm -hmm. to pay for mammogram screenings for ladies who can't afford it or who are underinsured. A lot of folks have high deductibles now. We've got a program to help pay for those mammograms too. So don't feel like you have insurance, which is it's too much of a deductible. I still can't go. Just come to the Pearly Harris Center and ask about how we can help you. And Miss Pearly is a real woman yes. that is there. And yes. like the more we do this, like I keep seeing her name on all kind of things. She's right. amazing. She does, yes. and she yes. knows just about everybody. So someone in your family yes. probably knows. It's such yes. a good place. I mean, everybody was so nice and caring. I think they were much nicer because I think I just sat there looking like a stooge. And, right. And but think, thinking, I'm sure you get that kind of news. That's what, yeah, what they but get. They, took care of it you know yeah. you go and they said you know you need to see a surgeon who's your surgeon oh, I, don't I don't know and they said well let me here's a person i know now, his wife just went through this so he would be they the really hold i mean it was like everything. helping you through all the steps so it was real i mean they and you'll be able to amazing. hear more about her story and more stories kind of like this and help celebrate each other if you yes. come out to this event so it's october 15th pearls and pumps all the information's on your screen just hit us any of us up if you have any questions we'll yes. tell you all about it so great job you're gonna do a good job here I'm looking I forward to, to it be and Megan's the MC. Yes. Yes. yes so that's gonna be it's gonna be a, a fun night affair. yes, yes. I love it love it love it all right guys coming up next we're gonna go over your responses to our question of the day which is what's the last book that you read so start thinking and go to our Facebook page plus we want you to go to our website for this contest your carolina.tv to enter a chance to win tickets and a meet and greet to Paw Patrol. They're coming to Greenville next weekend. So if you have kids that are into Paw Patrol, make sure you're entering that contest. You're Carolina.tv.